How's it going, everybody? Arthur Ray is here with Winners and Winners, and today I have a MLB pick for you guys for the Wednesday, July 13th, 2022 MLB slate. But before we even get into that, I want to notify you guys about a promotion we are doing over on the website. In the description of this video, you can see there's a profile to myself, and you're going to click on that. You are going to figure out which, uh, which package you guys like. And you're going to insert the code ART502TC at checkout with no spaces in there. And you are going to get 50% off of any package that you choose. Now, why would you want to do that? Maybe you feel like, hey, I have a little bit of a formula going myself. If you do, good, good job. But you can check on the website. In the last seven days, I am up 505 units. So... I've been picking winners consistently as of late. You guys can get your money back and then some while saving money. What's the harm in just trying, at least? Just see what it's like. Maybe you enjoy it. If you do, you continue. If not, hey, a couple bucks down the drain. Nothing that, you, that will hurt you. But anyways, let's get into my pick for the MLB slate on Wednesday. We have the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays finishing a three-game series in the trap. Boston will be sending rookie right-hander Josh Winkowski. He's 3-3 three three with a 4.35 ERA. Tampa Bay will be countering with young lefty Shane McClanahan, who is 9-3 with a 1.73 ERA. So, just off the numbers themselves for the overall season, I think you can tell who I'm going with. But just in case, we'll dive a little bit deeper. Uh, some teams just seem to have the opposite team's number, and that's exactly what Tampa Bay has right now. They are 5-2 and two this year against Boston, and they are just clicking. Uh, to dive a little bit deeper into the pitchers, this is going to be Winkowski's seventh start of the year, and he has allowed multiple runs in all but one start. So five of six starts, he has allowed at least two runs in that outing. Compare it to Shane McClanahan. In his last seven starts to make it around what Winkowski has done. He is 4-1 and one with a 1.37 ERA. And that is against some very formidable lineups. So he has been pitching incredibly well. The offenses, you know, you've been hearing Wanda Franco is now out with, a, with surgery. Uh, Kevin Kiermaier is out. Manuel Margot, Mike Zanino, things of that nature. So, this Rays team has been beaten up. However, they are still putting up runs. Uh, as I look for my numbers, Tampa Bay has been averaging 4.86 runs in their previous 14 games. Now, Boston, they're known to be one of the best offenses in baseball right now. They're averaging a little less than Tampa Bay in that same stretch. They're averaging 4.77 runs per game in their last 13. So the offenses are very close. The pitching has been a big split in between. I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay Rays. You could get them on the DraftKings Sportsbook at minus 141 odds. I'm going to put 10 units on it. I really like what they did on Monday. And I think it's going to continue. They're going to win this series and they're going to Continue gaining games. I think this Tampa Bay team is going to still make the wild card. And Boston will too. But I think that Tampa Bay just has the number of Boston right now. And that's my pick for today. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so the people, the bosses over here at Winners and Winners know that you guys like what I'm doing. Also, make sure to go check out the promo on the website. 50% off. Make sure to use the code ART502TC at checkout for 50% off. And I will see you guys in the next one.